Cooper Cup has now been back for two games and he's shown that he is still a top receiver in the NFL, but is he the best receiver in the NFL? That's what we're gonna be discussing in this video. Let's get into it. So this video was inspired by the Rams Wire article. Cooper Cup is reminding everyone he's still one of the top wide receivers in the NFL. So in this video, we're gonna be going over some uh, game tape uh, and we're gonna be discussing why I think that Cooper Cup is the best receiver in the NFL um, right now. I wish he would have been here since the beginning of the season uh, so that he could be competing with uh, Tariq Hill and stuff in terms of stats, uh, but he's already back and competing in terms of averages per game. Obviously, he only has two games, but he's right up there with all receivers and he already has a touchdown as well. So um, yeah, when Cooper Cup returned to the lineup last week, it had almost been a full year since he played a full game. Um, that's a long time for a player to go without stepping on a uh, foot on the field. He missed the end of last season with an ankle injury and was sidelined due uh, to start the season due to a hamstring strain. Once again, raising questions about his durability. Uh, regardless of whether Cup is uh, considered durable or not, he's quickly reminded everyone uh, how talented he is when he's healthy. In his first two games back from injury, Cup looked like the same guy we saw win Offensive Player of the Year and Super Bowl MVP in 2021. Uh, after catching eight passes for 118 yards in his season debut last week, he followed it up with seven catches for 148 yards and a touchdown on Sunday against the Cardinals. So something different about him and Puka Nakua. Um, the reason Puka Nakua was having so many yards was because of how many receptions he was actually getting. Um, he was uh, averaging a ton of receptions, especially to start the year. Um, um, and that was resulting in a ton of yards for Puka Nakua. The thing about Cooper Cup, he only had eight catches week one for 118 yards, which is averaging well above 10 um, yards per reception. Um, and then he follows it up by only having seven catches, so one less reception, but 148 yards. So that's almost 20 yards per reception. And that's because he had two pretty big plays, but it's not like they were like 70 yard plays. Um, they were just like, you know, 30, 40 yard chunk plays. Um, and each play he's getting, he's getting 50 between 15 and uh, 30 yards. So very solid. Um, and what's it called? In total, he already has 15 catches for 266 yards and a touchdown this season. That's only 43 yards fewer than Tutu Atwell in six games. And that's more than every other uh, Rams player besides Puka Nakua. Um, so Puka Nakua, Cooper Cup, going to be that kind of big tandem here. Uh, Puka Nakua didn't have a very great game this week, uh, but that's because Cooper Cup pretty much caught every reception and we were running the ball very effectively. 20 carries for Kyron Williams for 160 yards. We didn't exactly need um, to have that many uh, air yards. We probably will against the Steelers and so we'll probably see Puka Nakua bounce back in that game. Uh, but Sean McVay has done a great job utilizing Cup in his first two games, putting him in favorable matchups against both man and zone coverages. Against the Cardinals, he put Cup uh, tight to the formation where he'd be going against the linebacker, which is an easy battle for Cup to win. The result, a 37-yard gain where uh, Cooper Cup showed his speed up the sideline. So yeah, I want to show you guys a couple of clips here. You can see Cooper Cup right here. Turns up field, vintage, little cut. That's vintage Cooper Cup right there. That little cut, um, he often makes people miss and breaks tackles. Um, and that was just showing he's back. Later on in the first half, Cup beat the Cardinals deep for a 49-yard gain uh, before halftime, uh, which set up a field goal to pull the Rams within three. Yeah, at this point in the game, things were looking kind of bleak. Uh, Cooper Cup was playing well um, with these different big chunk plays, uh, but still looking pretty bleak. Um, and again, Cup may not be heralded as a fast receiver, but he had enough speed to get behind the defense at a critical part of the game. So let's go. And this is very similar to the Bucks game as well. Boom. Love the game route. Gotta love it. Throw it up to Cooper Cup. He's down there somewhere. Um, and then in the second half, Cup made yet another impressive play. He ran a beautiful route to create some separation and make the throw easier for Matthew Stafford, dragging his feet and bounds for a 21-yard gain. Um, and then we'll watch this real quick. So you can see his feet. Gets a catch, secures it. One, and drags that toe. That's just pure Cooper Cup doing everything correct and always securing that catch. There's just never a time where Cooper Cup isn't doing the right thing. Um, 
Even after missing four games, Cup is poised to finish with yet another 1,000-yard season. He's averaging 133 yards per game, which puts him on pace for 1,700 yards in just 13 games, assuming he stays healthy on this toward run. Um, so, yeah, and, and like I said earlier, Stafford only had 200, 226 yards passing. Cup had 148 of them. Um, so he is the favorite target. Um, this is why I told people, hey, if you have Puka Nakua, try to sell him before Cooper Cup comes back because he's going to take a ton of the reception uh, percentage of uh, share of the percentages. So um, I was telling my uh, my cousin to do that when he had, he had picked up Puka Nakua. I was like, sell him off. You know, I'm not picking up Puka Nakua, um, even though I'd love to, because once Cooper Cup comes back, all the um, you know throws are going to be coming his way. So. You know, Cooper Cup, I believe he is a top receiver in the NFL. What do you guys think about uh, him at this point? Uh, do you still need to see more? Do you need to see a few more games before you're ready to say he's a top five receiver? Let me know in the comment section below. But other than that, that's going to be it for this video. Leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.